Forging ahead at breakneck speed in naval warfare isn't just thrilling, it also puts propulsion systems under extreme stress. Japan's early Umikaze-class destroyers were the first to use heavy oil-fired Parsons steam turbines, replacing coal-fired engines in pursuit of greater speed. However, these turbines consumed fuel voraciously and were plagued by frequent breakdowns, prompting Japan to revert to a mixed coal and oil boiler setup. The Italian navigatory class destroyers reached speeds of up to 45 knots in trials, but after wear and tear in actual service, their top speed dropped to around 32 knots, proving how relentless use could significantly degrade initial performance. The Italian Dardo series destroyers was optimized for speed, suffered serious stability problems due to excessive top weight. One ship even capsized in port while being towed for maintenance, revealing fatal design flaws despite their swift capabilities. American destroyers like the Fletcher class featured robust split plant machinery, but in the tropical Pacific, high humidity and prolonged high-speed operations often caused overheating and steam leaks, forcing emergency slowdowns. Want to learn about five worst destroyers in World War II? Tap the related video below.